Hello viewers, welcome to Ajadi Math class. Today we will be working on statistics. Our intention is to improve your understanding of statistics. If this is the first time of joining us, please kindly subscribe so that you can get notified of our subsequent videos on this series. So let me call this series one. Now Today I will be explaining um, what is known as the central tendency. In statistics, when we talk about the word central tendency, we are referring to the mean, the median, and the mode. With the basic understanding of statistics, we understand that mean is the average, okay? While the median is the median number, and also the mode is the most occurrence from the observation given to us. So firstly today we'll be explaining what the mean is. Another name for mean is average. So whenever you are told that calculate an average, indirectly you are being told to calculate the mean. Another name also is the arithmetic mean. And in an advanced statistics, we call it the expected value, which is this. So average can be this um, denotion, or let me see what you can use to denote your mean, you can use S bar, okay? We use mu. This mu is common when you are doing statistics, maybe in your undergraduates. So we use mu, and um, we can use M, and also the expectation of X. We use expectation of X to represent our expected value. So anytime you are seeing any of these four, well, most commonly we use these three, excluding the M. So anytime you see it, that shows we are referring to what? Mean. Okay? Now, the formula that can be used in calculating the mean is S bar. So what does S bar represent? When we talk about the word S bar, it means summation, okay, of your XI, where your I ranges from 1 to N. What does this mean? Okay? It means all the observation give it to you. You are adding everything together, divided by the number of what observation. Um, an example to illustrate that. For example, you are giving an observation the um, number of students in each in um, several classes. We have two, we have four, we have six. Okay, and we are asked to calculate the mean. We are asked to calculate the mean of this, which is the average. So what this summation means, this is the first observation, second observation, third observation, just like your X1, X2, X3. So for you to calculate your mean, it means your X bar equals the addition of everything, which is 2 plus 4 plus 6. Okay? Everything all over. Here we talk about N. So our N is the number of observations. I mean observations we have here, one, two, three. So divided by three, okay? And then for us to calculate our mean with this, so adding this together, two plus four gives six, plus six gives 12. So our X bar, um, with this, you can say that your X bar equals 12 all over three, which is 4. So that is our mean. So that is the short way of calculating the mean, or the, let me say the average of um, values given to you. Now, looking at this third one, this is when you have frequency involved. You know, there are times whereby the observation given to you, although we here we work, about, uh, we work on, um, on group data, Okay, we work on on good data, but there are times whereby frequency will surely be involved. Take for instance, we have x. Let x represent um, the number of students, or yeah, or student the grade of students. Yes, let x represent the grade of students in a class. So maybe um, the, someone add. 70, someone had, um, let's say, 50, someone had 20, okay? Now, we might be interested in 
the frequency, which is how many students has 70? We might have two students. How many students have 50? We might have just only one. How many students had 20? We might have two. So calculating the mean of this, although there are two ways of doing this, you can write 70 plus 70 plus 50 plus 20 plus 20 all over the total. That is easy for you to do. But using this formula, when frequency is being involved, that means we have to multiply our observation x by our frequency f. So for the second observation by the second frequency up to the nth observation by the nth frequency. So in doing that, by doing that, we you can do like this, okay? Um, here now, we can have what is known as, let me clean this. We can have what is known as f times x, which is fx. So our fx means we are multiplying this by this, this by this, and also this by this. So by doing that, we have 70 times 20, and that gives 140, okay? 50 times 1, that gives 50. 20 times 2, that gives what? 40. So that gives what? 40. Adding everything together, that is why we have summation. We multiply each of it, so we are looking for the summation, okay? We are summing everything together. We are summing the product together. So if you sum the product together here, so that means you have 140 plus 50 plus 40. 140 plus 50 gives 190, plus 40 also gives what? Let me write it up here. It gives 230 all over, yeah, over what? Summation F, okay? Summation F, what is our summation F? 2 plus 1 plus 5, A plus 2. So here we have 5. So dividing this 230 by 5, you can just divide slowly. 5 in 23 gives 5. Remember 3, 5 in 30 is 6. So finally, our answer can be equals to, sorry, oh yeah, 5 in 23 gives 4. Remember 3, 5 in 30 gives 6. So you can say that your x bar is what? 46. So that is another method of calculating our x bar. And the, third part, uh, the fourth part of it is the weighted mean, okay? In this, in this also we are calculating the mean, okay? Which is also known as the average. That means the observation multiplied by the weight, observation multiplied by the weight, almost the same way with this number three, okay? Instead of having the frequency, we have the weight, which will be um, display, uh, dispersed across. Now, after that, we talked about the combined mean, combined um, mean. So calculating, um, working on the combined mean, um, we have a group whereby the number of observation is known as S1, N1. We have the mean to be um, X bar 1, okay? Maybe in a class, GS1A, GSS1A, junior secondary school class 1A, you can have 50 students and their average height might be, let's say, um, 25. Yes, 1B, you can have 40 students, and their average height might be, let's say, 30. Up to just 1K, you, you can have maybe 40 students in just 1K, and um, um, the S bar, the mean of, stu uh, of the weight of students there might be, maybe, let's say, 33. So this, we want to combine the means together. So that means observation times um, the mean. So we want to know the average weight of the student in the entire class. So that means you are multiplying the number of students by the average weight, number of students by the average weight in each of the classes over how many students are in each class, the sum of all the students in each class. So that's what we call the combined mean. And Secondly, we talk about the median. So, for you to work on the median, there are two conditions. Yes, for you to work on the median. Firstly, your number of observation. 
firstly, yeah, let me say this. Firstly, you must arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order. Let's take for instance, you have numbers you are given two, one, nine, seven. Before you work on median, before you do anything, you have to arrange either in ascending order or descending order. That's the first thing you have to do. Either in ascending order. So we are arranging this in ascending order. Okay, that means from the smallest to the biggest. That means we have one, two, seven, then nine. But if you are arranging descending order, we have nine, seven, two, and one. So that means from the um, highest to the lowest. But here we talk, we work on the what? On the ascending order. Secondly, you must be able to identify if the number given to you is even number or odd number. Whether it is even number or odd number. If it is even number, there are some certain things you need to do. And if it is odd number, there are certain things you need to do. So if it is even number, um, if the number given to you is even number, that means that, say for instance, you have two, three, four, five as the observation. So that is your xi. Okay? Now if you want to calculate the um the median, you take the average. You take the what? The average of the um two values at the middle. Okay? You take the average of the two values at the what? <coughs> At the middle, that means the sum will be added together divided by two. So for the median for this, it will be three plus four all over two, which is three point five. Okay, which is what three point five. So the formula here says that you the t nth number over two. Okay, that's the average. Or at times you can have the t nth number over two plus one. It can be possible that way too. But if it is the odd, odd, you must, there's what we call nth number. What I'm doing here is just um, direct calculation, okay? Um, when we go to that of the frequency, I'm going to explain more. In our next video, I'm going to talk more about median. But for odd number, okay, if you are calculating the median for an odd number, take for instance, um, we have our xi, to be equals to 2, 4, 6, 9, 11, okay? So if you want to work on the me median, you can just do it this way um, for easy check. If this cancel out this, but looking at the median number, middle number, this cancel out this, so our middle number is what? 6. So that shows that what our median is what six because that is the middle number so that is what i have for you here in our next video we are moving straight to median and mode so for you to be able to get notification to some of uh, to this series because we are going in series we want to learn statistics from the beginning to the peak so that you can also be a good statistician and also a good data analyst so if you follow this series after teaching statistics, we are going to talk about data analysis as well. So I encourage you to click on subscribe button. You will be notified whenever we upload new videos. And also click on the bell button. Like and also comment on this video. You can give your suggestion to us via the comment section. Thank you very much. See you next video.